There's Anton Querty along with Orchestre Metropolitan out of Montreal and the final movement from Johannes Brahms' Piano Concerto Number no. 2 in B-flat. It's 9.31. You are listening to Classical Mornings with Mike and Jean here at the new Classical FM. Only there's no Jean. She's on vacation. Just me, Mike Duncan. Now, kicking off on a Thursday evening, the Canadian Opera Company is entering, oh, the twilight of the gods with its revival of its acclaimed production of Wagner's Gotterdammerung. It's directed by Tim Albury, conducted by COC music director Johannes Debus, who joins us in the studio this morning. Good morning, Maestro. Good morning, Mike. Now, I understand this is your first Gotterdammerung. This is my first Gotterdammerung, yes. How I'm, I'm very curious because this is an epic in the, the best sense of the word. I mean, it's depending on the tempo, four and a half hours of music. As a conductor, how do you approach that? I mean, because that's a, fun, you know, you must have like an encyclopedia on your stand or God forbid you do it all from memory. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not that far yet. But um, <laughs> you have to know it. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's quite funny when you get sort of, to page 600 or <laughs> even more so i think it's in my score 614 pages in total wow. um and how do you prepare yourself you have to be mentally um sort of on top of mm-hmm. everything mm-hmm. it's maybe not so much the physical i was going to um, ask about the physical because that's a lot it is a lot but uh, wagner in a certain way makes it uh, doable I mean, there are people who conducted the entire ring, all four operas, in 24 hours or in two days, which is, um, you might call that a bit insane or Olympic, but Mm -hmm. it's possible. Um, Yet, I think it's um, the mental challenge. You really really have to know all the time the intention that is behind everything. Um, And you have to know where you are in this epic story. Mm-hmm. You have to know where you are in this, what I call, Greek tragedy. Right. Um, and because you want to you wanna create those big, big arches, mm-hmm. you know. Um, everything is kind of uh, enlarged in Wagner's music, in particular in The Ring. Um, and you want to make sure that this thread of narration um, and sometimes almost... Um, philosophical discussion mm-hmm. does not sort of um, be cut off, is not cut off. Um, and Wagner, the, the, the master he was, uh, in certain moments brings in this kind of incredible exhilarating orchestral music or brings everything to a halt, which is then also in the context extremely, extremely powerful mm-hmm. Um and and to make that happen, sort of organically happen, you really have to be on on top and I and guess. very clear in your headspace. Wow! So I imagine you are um, dealing with nothing else but this in your life right now. There are a few <laughs> other things you deal with, but um, yeah, you have to focus on that clearly. Um, now this this is a remount. That does that make it easier for you as a conductor? Well, well, I mean, as I'm doing it for the first time, yeah, you know, I guess, um, I guess it's and, kind of the same. And I'm kind of, uh, yeah, doing doing that particular production also for for the first time. Clearly, um, mm-hmm. well, it's you know as difficult or easy as uh, maybe anything else. Uh, right. Every production, every piece has uh, certain challenges, and you have to face it, and you have to find solutions for it. Mm-hmm. Um, um, but but it's it's actually it's great working together with with Tim, and it's great uh, to have this incredible cast on on the stage, you know, which is really an absolutely it's a world class cast. Well, that's and that's thing, <laughs> for, yeah. I mean alone for that reason, people really should should get their tickets. Mm-hmm. I, I I don't think that I personally will ever in my life um, encounter something at this high, consistently high level. Well, well talk to um, us about the cast. Maybe because, similar level, but, you yeah, know, I, yeah. I can't imagine it much, much better. <laughs> this is this is pretty much the best cast you'll find right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah what, definitely. Uh, tell us about them. How are they, how are they, how are, how's your working relationship? Uh, I, I would say the working relationship <laughs> is great. They're Good? extremely... Um, they're they're actually fun to work with. You, you, would, you would think, oh, my God, they all, all have those 
immense tasks, you know, mm-hmm. and and they they might be um, uh, well, very uh, tense and 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 nervous, and I don't know what. Not very at all. focused, you know. Not yeah. at all. They're so down to earth. They are um, joking, laughing. They're really having all, I think, a great time, and and I'm having a great time with them. So. It's it's wonderful. That's great to hear. Um, you also have five student players from the 2017 uh, COC Orchestra Academy. Yeah, which is um, it's also so great that that we're we're doing that that we're having that um, that academy in place now because I I adamantly I feel that this is so important that we can give you know back to those young next generations um, what we might have learned what uh, we might have experienced. Um, and to try to to sort of help them to bridge the gap between the student life and and the professional life, mm-hmm. and and then of course if you have the chance at, at that age to play a Goethe Demerung, yeah, um, throwing them right in the deep end. I mean, you will never ever forget that, and I hope that 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 this will have also an impact on what they are as musicians mm-hmm. and um, how they develop as musicians in general. And that's actually part of uh, the idea of this academy. Mm-hmm. You know, that we have something to offer for them that might be a bit different from um, what a symphony orchestra of course. can offer. Yeah. Um, it's sometimes a slightly different approach to music, but I think a very valuable approach mm-hmm. um, to be exposed to the human voice. And to hear, to experience how uh, a human voice, and in, the, in that case the, the, the big Wagner voices, phrase how they color things, how they express things. Um, if you have ears, if you're open, you might be able to then also incorporate th- th- that those ideas into your own playing, mm-hmm. into your own mm-hmm. approach to music. And um, I think uh, this is highly valuable. And oh, it's no great kidding. for us to actually meet the next generations, Mm -hmm. you know. um, So we are in touch with them. We are are also getting feeded by them through their ideas. Their enthusiasm. Exactly. Yeah, they're not jaded at all. No. Which is uh, something that I'm sure you look for as a conductor all the time. Yeah. Now, you recently, um, back in December, you made your Met debut uh, conducting Salome. I how did. did that, how did that go? That oh, must that have was, been a treat. <laughs> a treat, an exciting well, yeah. treat. Yeah, you know, yeah. you're at the Met for God's yeah. sake. Yeah, and uh, I must say, I was so, um, I was so st- stunned by the collegial, f- rather family spirit of that company. And really, y- y- because I imagine, I imagine, I'm, I'm not a conductor. I've never conducted, but going into a different company to work with, I imagine it's kind of like one way or the other either they welcome you or they go uh what is this guy's thing here? <laughs> yeah, well i mean it <laughs> it depends I, I you're right it can happen you know it can be it can be both ways but um i would say the really great companies um where great people are working they're mm-hmm. always welcoming uh, new new people with open arms That's cool. and um I mean, of course, if you screw it up, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I mean, you have to, uh, um, you have to be on top of it. Sure. O- otherwise, uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's great. I've never heard. I never had a conductor be that candid about that before. So you, you had your you had your dress rehearsal last night for Gotham Damrung. How that, did it all go? I think, flawless. No, that's not what a dress rehearsal should be. It shouldn't. Okay. It shouldn't go completely flawless because mm. you know. It can it can go flawless, um, but I think it's always good if some little things are happening, then people are very aware and mm-hmm. even more so focused and concentrated at opening night. Fantastic. And um, but you know it was a good it was a good run, mm-hmm. and it I think we are all now getting to to that level where we really know. Um, sort of what's coming next in that story, you mm-hmm. know, because that's important that you, in the moment where you are, you already have to think, let's say, 20 minutes ahead. Right, s- yeah. Somehow, you know. And um, <clears throat> I, I think we, we are now getting to that point where we understand um, that that whole idea. 
I'm, I'm curious, because this is such an epic and such a lengthy and monumental opera, how much rehearsal time have you had for this? We started, we started with piano rehearsals after Christmas. Okay, okay. Um, the, the time with the orchestra, actually n- not too much, mm-hmm. not too many rehearsals. Um, I mean, we played uh, Siegfried last season, and yes. the season before we played Valkyrie, so there is, well, we could say there's a certain um, line now, you know, and so we are kind of familiar with that repertoire. So I think everyone knew already from the first rehearsal, from the first reading, how we would like to approach it, Mm -hmm. or maybe how I also would like to approach it, you know, right? Um, which obviously saves some time. (laughs) (laughs) It would indeed. Well, it sounds like it is going to be a spectacular run. I want to thank you very much for coming in today, and uh, as they say, break a leg on the upcoming performances. We will. All right. Maybe two. <laughs> <laughs> Been speaking to Canadian Opera Company uh, music director Johannes Debus about the COC's production of Gotterdammerung, which kicks off on Thursday. Seven performances in total. If you want to get tickets, and you better get on it because they're going to be going fast, you can go to coc.ca, call 416-363-8231, or drop by in person at the Four Seasons Centre for the Performing Arts Box Office, which is at 145 Queen Street West.